Now, here's how lectures work. Click on lecture. The lecture that we're working on on that particular day is going to be displayed on the menu. You can left click and then save that link as and you could basically download the presentation that we're working on anywhere on your computer. Once it's downloaded, you can open it. And this is the actual PowerPoint that I'm going to be presenting. You are welcome to copy and use this PowerPoint presentation any way you want. In fact, one of the things that you are required to do is to take notes on the PowerPoint presentation. Very easy to do. Start your word processing program on your computer. You now have a blank screen. If you want to copy something, you can take anything you want off anywhere on that PowerPoint presentation. Control C copies it. Go to your word processor. Control V pastes it in. If you would like to copy a diagram, such as this one. You click in the middle of the diagram so that you might have handles around it, you might see dots around it, and you right click, you click copy, go to your Word document, control V, paste it in. You must take notes on your presentations. Your notes are then submitted. Take your notes and save them. So here, for example, I am going to call this chapter one notes. I'm going to save it in the documents folder of my computer. I'm going to click save. I now exit that word processing document and when the lecture is done all the way at the end I now have however many pages of notes that I need. I close out of the PowerPoint presentation and I'm now ready to submit. I click where it says Lecture 1 Notes. It's worth 10 possible points. It was based on the following presentation, which I downloaded. I click where it says Write Submission. And I open up the document that I had before, Chapter 1 Notes. Now, on any Windows computer, if I press Control A, it takes every word of that document. If I have 300 pages, it'll take every letter, every diagram of those 300 pages. Control C copies it. Go back to Blackboard, click inside there, Control V will bring it in. However, we will notice that some things do not translate like diagrams. So for that reason, we want to browse our computer, go to the downloads, and find the document that we had saved.
Okay. But you get the idea. We have to find that document. All right. And let's say this is the, the, the document that we want to attach. And we attach it as well. That's basically worth 20% of your grade, along with participating in the class discussions that we have where you read the different bullet points. Now, these notes are yours to use any way you not, any way you want, uh, and we'll get to that in a little while. 